work. Today, we have a bit of a challenge for myself. Um, this is a piece that I did a long time ago that was actually, I considered a fail. However, I got a commission to recreate this on two two foot canvases. Now, the problem is I don't remember what I did to make this such a fail. The reason I say it's a fail technically is because you'll see there's only a little bit of cells. You can see um, I blew too hard and the pillow came up, so that means that my paints were very thin. However, I do like the watery, inky effect that this has, and of course I don't remember what I did. So she wants minimal cells and minimal lacing, and she doesn't want the colors to be all mixed up. So you'll see how there's like a pink, purple, blue. So I have to recreate this over there. How are we gonna do that? I'm not too sure. So I have, so what I've done first is I've thinned everything down. This is uh, glid and semi-gloss, which is quite thin. It is, um, I, it is an older can, but it, it's been covered, so it's only thickened a little bit. I've thinned down my pouring medium. The ratio is one to one. I use in Canada Watco with a mix of Joe Sonia and polycrylic. And I've used um, more liquidy paints on some layers. So for instance, I'm using this golden um, fluid fluorescent paint, which really holds its pink nicely. Now I tried this uh, golden cobalt violet, but then it turned out a little muddy. So I added some golden quinacridone magenta to it to pump it up a bit. We have um, Atelier Thalo Turquoise and I wanted a light one, so I added Arteza Pearl Turquoise. And also, we have some permanent blue violet Amsterdam. And a little bit, I have some gold left over, 24 karat gold mixed with a little Arteza 2 paint. And I'm using Payne's Gray Cell Activator. Um, but I'm not going to even use too much. So, what we're going to do, and she wants the paint to reach the edges, which is fine but I wanna make sure that the colors stay bright. So, what am I gonna do? So, in looking at this, I can see it looks like the first color I laid down was blue because that's the one you see in the middle. Um, and then I think I fanned out the color somehow. So let's try that, shall we? I don't even know how much paint to put on. Um, I always wanted to try ink, so maybe this is a way to have your piece look like ink um, with much more expensive products. Okay, so we're going to start with the blue. And, okay, I don't, I don't want it too dark, so I'm going to like do like, maybe I'll do just like a circle on top of each other, fanning out. Okay. I don't know how much paint to put on, just a little bit of blue. And then what I will do is, how about, well, I want to break it up, so I don't want to put the purple necessarily on top of that blue. So I'll try the light turquoise, and I'll just go like this. Because <clears throat> we don't want too much mixing of the colors. More like block colors. I hope this works or else it's just such a waste. Okay, on top of that, I will do the purple. Okay, then I will do the magenta. <coughs> We're looking pretty blocky. And then <clears throat> I'll do the neon pink on this side. First, let me get into the middle a little bit more so I know what I'm dealing with here. I think. Somewhat. All right. Let's 
get, let's lighten her up here. Yeah, we want the pink to have its own little petal, let's say. Okay, oh, I don't know. And then she'll have a little bit of gold. Let me move my paint so when I spin it, I don't get too messy. All right, a little bit of gold. I will put the gold. Uh, oh, Penny, why are you always crying to blow outside? I'll put the gold here. All right, now. All right, let me let Penny out or she's, poor girl's gonna cry. She's a great Dane. Okay, hold on. You wanna go with that thing? Okay. Here you go. All right, everyone knows sneakers is Dane? Okay. Oh, actually, someone wanted to be sneakers. Sneakers is very dirty. So don't judge. She hasn't gone to the spa. Here, say hi, Sneaks. Oh, hello. I'm very annoying and loud, but cute. Okay. That was Sneakers. Okay, now. Oh, Lord. Oh, I'm using my big hair dryer today. This is a Baby Bliss Pro. I like it because it still has a small mouth. So how am I going to, or do I even want, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add, if I can find it, a fun attachment yeah let's make it bigger so I can blow out so this is a top secret secret but I suppose I can tell you I got a funnel silicone I cut off the edge and then I put it on my hair dryer to make a bigger mouth when you're working on bigger pieces you on a bigger mouth so this is what it looks like enjoy top secret okay now um i'm going to put a little bit now normally i put a lot of cell activator but we're only putting a little bit because we want dainty stuff so it seems to be tilting this way let me make sure it's in the middle ish middle ish so what I've done on my cake spinner is I put a 16 inch board on top of it and then I put an upside down two foot canvas and then this one on top. Hopefully that will keep stable. Okay, so we're just doing a little bit of cell activator. And remember, I try not to mouge up my colors too much. All right, wish me luck. black in the middle so I'm gonna get that do we even like what's going on here maybe I don't know oh, I got a little piece a dot a dot of paint in there hold on looks like I blew some a piece of dry paint okay surgery out nice should be a surgeon okay 
Now I'm gonna blow in the, how am I gonna reach the middle? Okay, let me just bring this closer to me for a second. Not get my ladies in there. They're certainly minimal cells. Okay, one more I wanna blow, if I can reach. Okay, now I'm gonna make sure everything's back in the center. And we will spin. It could be kinda cool actually this off. I don't know if I like this one petal right here. Maybe I'll blow it out. Just missing a little something. I'll try with my, should I try with my mouth? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, no, I'll try because I can't reach it. <coughs> okay, hold on. Do I want to do something about here? Sure, why not? this part so perhaps I will try to tilt this down a little bit okay so remember we don't want a lot of negative space we want the color off, mostly. Um, it's actually pretty cool, if I do say so myself. I want to keep, I want to get this off, but I don't want to lose too much of that petal. There is a lot you can do with the blue. I'm sure that there's other methods that you could recreate this, that it's easier, but it looks so, I love the alcohol ink look. It's really dainty. Without doing alcohol ink. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I really like this i think um so colors are going off i'm wondering if this corner is bothering me um here i'll show you oh perfect elliot's here to give me his trusted opinion oh, God. okay so i've been working on something different 
the goal was to have blocks of color, not too much mixing, have the color come off, not too much cells or lacing. So it's supposed to look like that piece there. I think you got it pretty close, no? It's pretty good, right? Yeah. Do you, uh, do you mind this white corner here? Mm-hmm. Not really. No? No. Do you mind the black in the middle? No, I, I think it's a good piece, babe. I really do. Ha! Look at that. <laughs> yeah, I love when you're proud of yourself. I'm a, I, I was so nervous because this is so different. Well, even if she doesn't like this one, you can always, you know, you know where you're going with it, right? Right. So like, but if this is it what looks she, like if that's what she gives. wanted and this is what you're giving her, I think it's pretty close, man. All right, let me show them again. So this is the way I would look at it and I'll show you the piece she wanted. So that's that. Yeah. And then. I mean, obviously it's different. One more time. <laughs> that's that. Is yeah. it, am I doing it good? Yeah. I'm doing it well. Yeah, just don't drop it. All right. Okay, lift it. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I'll do a close up. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much. <coughs> Excuse me for joining me while I choke. And uh, have a great day. Bye.